Hello everybody, welcome to Mastering Music with Matthew number 9. Today we're going to talk about Travis picking. So it's a fairly simple, easy uh, technique to learn. So we're going to start off just learning the thumb part. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb on the 6th string, we're going to play it, and then we're going to put our thumb on the 5th string and play it. And we're going to be doing quarter notes. We're going to alternate between the 6th string and the 5th string. So we'll go 6th string, 5th string, 6th string, 5th string. Just take our time and get used to alternating strings here. We can also reverse and start on the fifth string. Do the same pattern on the fifth and fourth string, like this. Fifth, fourth, one, two, three, four. Or we can also start on the fourth string and go down to the fifth string. And sometimes, rarely, but not usually, we can jump from the sixth string to the fourth string. from the fourth string to the sixth string. It's all about the thumb alternating strings. Okay? Now we're going to try and bring some fingers in. Uh, if you need to go over that a couple more times, just rewind and do it again. It's all good. Uh, we're going to go on though. First thing we're going to do is we're going to strike the middle finger. Now we're going to put these, the, we're going to put these two fingers here on the top two strings or on these uh, middle two strings, the second and third string, either way. So, just depending on the sound you're going for. First thing we're going to do is we're going to strike the thumb and the middle finger together. Then just the thumb, then the index finger, then the thumb again, then just the middle finger, then the thumb again, and then the index finger. So if we put down uh, a C chord here, starting with our thumb on the fifth string, so that's one, Two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. So on one, I'm playing both the middle finger and the thumb on the fifth string. Then on two, I play just the thumb. Then on and, I'm going to play just the index finger. Then on three, I'm going to play the thumb. Then on and, I'm going to play just the middle finger. And then on four, I'm going to play the thumb. And then on and, I'm going to play just the index finger. Okay? We could also alternate going, instead of up, we could always have the thumb go down. going to try it over a G chord. We're going to try it over a G chord. We start with our thumb and then on the sixth string and then we either go up to the fifth string or to the fourth string, whichever we prefer. So. I think it sounds better for personally jumping all the way to the fourth string. I'm going to change it to a C chord, moving that thumb bass to the fifth string. Get out our friendly metronome. Let's start with 60. What I'm doing is with my left hand, I'm just playing a C chord. And then with my right hand, thumb and middle finger. Then on two, just the thumb. Right? Then and on the index. Thumb and thumb. Faster. 
How about we jump up to 70? Up to 80, what do you say? Three, four. How about 90? It's actually a 92. to sound like something a hundred Ha! 125. How fast do you think I can go? Let's find out. I don't even know. We'll find out about it. <laughs> Stay with me. One. Two, three, four. All right, 140. Now we're starting to get a little quicker. Let's go for 185. Yeah! That's intense. 200! 200! One, two, three, four. Okay, 210. All right, here we go. This is the fastest the metronome goes. 220. How can I do it? This again! Here we go, one, two, one, two, three, four! Oh! That was awesome! 220, my metronome won't go any faster. I outran my metronome but just barely man that was tough i'll tell you what my hands burning a little bit please stay to the end that's what i'm trying to do for all my youtube videos now i'm watching i'm staying to the end i got a brand new song called stay to the end make sure you check that out enjoy it i think you're gonna like it also check out my website matthewsmusiclessonstudio.com where you can get music lessons just like you would do in person but it's actually kind of cooler in a way because you get to record it keep the lesson as a video for yourself and I can use all my awesome props my music studio in reason uh, we can pull up anything on the internet and access it it's great please check out matthewsmusiclessonstudio.com
www.mastermusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusicmusic